Yo, so what's going on, Battlefielders? It is Pwn, and you know, I got done just doing a lot of manly things, like shaving my facial hair and flexing my man pecs, and I decided, hey, Pwn, I know that you're awesome, but you gotta take times out for your, uh, for your subscribers, so I'm like, alright, I'm gonna sit down, make a commentary. This is my very first time ever playing Squad Deathmatch. Squad Rush? Squad, squad Deathmatch? Squad, squad Rush! Yeah, there's an objective there. See? Look at this. I'm such a virgin. But, hey, my noob cherry was popped in this one, so we're ready to go. So, I start off with the M68A3, and the reason I do so is because these guys are trying to play a little bit more aggressive-like, and that's because they are preparing for the PTFO tournament. I, on the other hand, is not going to be in it. Um, I had some disagreements with people. There are a couple commentators in it I don't like, and I'm not going to help support um, something that's got like 10 people in it I can't stand. Nothing personal, it's not I don't want to participate or anything like that, it's just for the sake of, you know, the thing running smooth and there being no problems, I just withdrew myself so there was no issues. So for those guys that wanted me to be in it, I apologize, not a big deal. I, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it, I still got the pub star tournaments when I get to them, and stuff like that, so it's not that big a deal. In the meantime, we're having a little bit of fun right here, we've got 20 tickets to run down, I'm out here on the rocks, and uh, of course, I just, you know, a lot of people think that you need to defend and be right around the objective. I, on the other hand, think that if you form a nice solid middle ground with a guy or two, that's going to cut off the rush, and you know, if there's no activity, that means they flanked around somewhere and you need to fall back. I like the aggressiveness, and no matter how it is, and if it's a regular pub, or if it's just a simple 4v4, I like to be aggressive. So, what we're talking about today is the media. Yeah, motherfucker, the media. And pancakes. And uh, the media about like how it influences. See, I was reading this article the other day where how this like kid went on a, a rampage and, and killed all these people, and he blamed Call of Duty. And I said, lol. And, you know, I, I see this stuff all the time. You know, when people do something wrong, er everyone knows how to blame it, bro. Like, when I fart in public, I'll, I'll accept that because I just made them, like, flutter away. But, like, in a serious situation, like, if somebody does something wrong or, or kills somebody or, or really makes a mistake, they blame it on the media. They blame it on Eminem's rap music, that gosh damn rap music, guys. And all these other things, because it's just easier to put blame on somebody else. And usually funnier, too. I do it all the time. So, the situation is, like, do you think media really influences these kids? When they say, hey, man, I only learned how to do that, or... I only did it because I saw it in Call of Duty or something. You know, you remember the old school, you know, there was like a there was an epidemic of retardation where kids would be like when wrestling was just getting hot, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, the the new generation, the new era, you know. It was WWF at the time, WCW and shit, and it was taking over. I mean, it, it comes back and forth, you know. It's been like 40 years since it was popular again. And now it's really really popular again. And it's basically in this phase where all the kids were like trying these moves off their beds and off the couches and shit, and they were breaking limbs and stuff. And people were getting mad at wrestling, and <laughs> and it's sad, really. I'm like, if your kid is dumb enough to attempt something like that, which all of them are, mine's gonna be stupid too, especially mine. But I mean, if your kids are dumb enough to do that, then that's okay. I mean, I see people jump off buildings with parachutes, do 360 no scopes and shit all the fucking time. Uh, in Call of Duty, do I expect another child to try to 360 Tomahawk YY ladder stall a motherfucker in real life? No. No, it's it's not going to happen. So when people say, "Oh yeah, yeah, I did that because mm, little horses," no, I don't, I don't, I don't think that you know Battlefield does anything. If anything, I think they they teach you a little bit more respect for the weapons. You understand what they are. You learn how to customize them, in case you you know you don't put blame on something like that. So do you think music? And uh, and because this has always been something that like I talk about with my mother or I talk about with my grandmother, it's something that we we often you know try to talk about because we stand on two different sides. My grandmother and and mother think that media does have an influence, and I guess everything. I mean, when you listen to your rap music, everything's about fucking bitches and get money, right? But I mean, I guess you could take that to lifestyle. Uh, it's just a flashy way of saying exactly what every guy wants. You know what I mean? So I guess when you look down at it. I mean, if if you really live by the word, if if you linger on everything that somebody else says, and you're that impressible or impressionable and gullible, then that's crazy. I mean, that's like a lot of those women that all a guy has to do is say "I love you" and they're in their pants. You know, the high school girls. I mean, if it's seriously all it takes is a couple words for you to be influenced, then that's your own damn fault. That's your stupidity, in my opinion. So when somebody's like, "Oh no, Call of Duty did it," I mean, if if you learn how to drop shot from Call of Duty, I'll believe you. So if you drop shot a motherfucker. I'm going to say, you know what, he got that from Call of Duty. But it's not like it, 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 it's, it's not like some fucking nine-foot 
deadly evil rabbit telling you what to do or something. People act like the 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 things are the devil. Some people, you know, for the longest years ago when video games and shooters and Grand Theft Auto and shit was coming out, people were like it's a bad influence. We can't have this kind of game and and you know, inflicting upon our youth. And I'm like, bitches, if if your kids go out and kill people, it's because you're not spending enough time with them and you didn't buy them that fucking pony they wanted. It's it's all it is. It has nothing to do about, you know, smacking a dead hooker and taking some money and you know, that's that's a required trait. And if he ever needed to know how to smack a bitch, he knows how to because of that. Doesn't mean he's going to, but it's it's education. I think video games are very educational. I'm I, I take a lot of good things away from Grand Theft Auto. And um I would recommend you guys would too. It's like I, I don't understand. I mean I, I learn far more and if you linger on the negative things of video games or, you know, music or movies or anything like that, you're crazy. But you know how many times I've seen a horror movie? Never once have I taken an axe to a motherfucker. It's just like crazy. So what is your stance on that whole idea? And, and all these parents and these moms and, and these companies, you know, always get into it all the time. Like, my son killed another boy by jumping off the roof and tomahawking his skull head in. What, what happened? And I blame you guys for that. And he didn't get no kill streaks. What's up with that? And it's just, it's just idiotic it's just simply put i mean people like to put blame on shit and you know they they may get i, I don't know see that's a possibility i wouldn't be shocked if some kids get violent because of this i get pissed when something goes wrong i've got like six holes in my wall i get mad at video games but i'm not going to hit somebody else i'm not going to like try out how, how to kill somebody cuz i saw it in a video game i'm not like impressionable like i get mad at the video game but not mad at other people because i learned it in a video game but you know, it's just it's just a weird world we live in. A lot of people are really, really impressionable and, you know, do what they think's right. And, you know, oh, I saw this on a video game once. I saw this on a movie once. Er, breaks neck. And uh, some of that stuff is stupid. But I think that's a problem with the person, the, the stupidity in the person, not really the the game or the movie or the, the rapper or whatever. And I just think that's just crazy. So leave your opinions down below. Let me know what you guys think of all that good doodad stuff. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Check out all the descriptions down below. And make sure that if you kill someone, blame it on something useful. Justin Bieber, we in agreement? Come on. Justin Bieber made me do it. Seriously. Lol.